In this session, we're going to look at changing structure charts to pseudocode via what is known as repetition. We're actually going to be dealing with the first type of repetition, which is known as fixed repetition. This is also in code as a for-do loop. This is where we do something for a fixed amount of time. So if we say for i equals 1 to 10, it'll actually do it 10 times. A fixed loop is represented by a straight line. And at the end of the straight line, you'll actually have a counter. So for three times. So it will carry out this loop three times. So in the case of this solution here, we will start with begin A. For three times do, B, end for, you notice this is a structure in itself. And then because we have a C module at the end, it then carries out C before it ends the A. So we still have a begin end modules and then we have our for do loop which has basically a start and an indicated end. To see that in some code you'll actually notice here that we can actually for a counter equals 1 to 5, print number, let number equals number plus 10, next and it'll actually go through this five times until it's done it five times and then jumps over and it'll print finished. To look at a structure chart, you notice it's got L Marsden. The first module called is weekday. You notice that weekday has a fixed loop and the number five on it. Therefore, it's going to carry weekday out five times. Once it's done this five times, it then returns up to L Marsden and then goes down to weekend. It does weekend twice indicated by the two. Once that's finished, it will go up to the main program again, and then it'll actually call rest. And that ends the main program L master. Then we have a weekend. Because weekend calls another sub-module, it's its own little program in itself, and we'll go begin weekend. It has a fixed loop for three times, so for three times do, go out, and then we'll end the fourth structure and then end the weekend. So to look at that in a typed out fashion or in a solution, we'll create a text box and we'll go through and start entering the different parts. So first of all we know we have L Marsden and we need to end L Marsden. In our first structure we have a for do loop, so for five times do. And you notice it's written in a way that says it's going to do it five times. And what it does five times is weekday. And then we can end the for loop. Now what we'll do is we'll indent this to stub this code out a little bit better. And like I've said before, it'll actually represent how it looks in our code. So after this four statement's finished, we have another one. So we can actually say, for two times, do. And what we're doing is weekend. And then once we've finished weekend, we can need to end the four again. Once for the for do loop's finished, it then calls rest. And then the main program ends. But because we have another sub layer, so you notice that for the first program, for every layer we have below that, we should have another begin end block for main programs. And this is for weekend. So we're going to now start begin weekend. And then we'll have our for do loop for three times, do, and we're going to have go out, and then what we need to do is we need to end the for do loop, and I'll just move this text box up, we need to end the for do loop and end our program. And then and end weekend. 
So you can now see that the program starts taking shape fairly quickly when you get used to the pseudocode. When the program actually runs as a runtime program in the computer, we start with the main program. It would do this function five times. So whatever the code is for weekday, it'll do it five times. So it'll go one, two, three, four, five. It'll come back up. And when the program's actually running, it'll go and do weekend twice. But on the first pass through weekend, it'll actually go and do go out three times. One, two, three. Return to weekend, return to the top. And because we've got to do it a second time, it'll go to weekend. It'll then go one, two, three. Return, return. Because we've finished the two, it'll then go to rest. So in a weekend, we would actually go out six times because that will be two lots of three that get called first time through, then the second time through. Even though we don't write our pseudocode as the same, we actually write it top down, left to right, layer by layer. But the way the computer would actually execute our code is top down, left to right, but because we can actually call go out, it'll actually go out three times, and then we can would be action for a second time, so hence we go out again three times. So in total, we would actually go out six times. So this concludes our tutorial on for-do loops or fixed iteration. Your job now is to complete the rest of the tasks.